Good morning to everyone. I am Prabha, Associate Professor of Triple E Department, SA Engineering College, Chennai. Today, I am going to take resonance in electric circuits for the gate coaching. Uh, resonance in electric circuits. First, what is the definition of resonance? Resonance is nothing but the uh, inductive reactance and capacitive reactance are equal in magnitude but opposite in phase. So, it will result in a pure resistive circuit when XL will be equal to XC at a specific frequency. Electrical resonance is an important factor in designing specifically frequency operations, example radio transmitters and receivers. There are two types of resonance circuit one is series resonance and another one is parallel resonance first I will take series resonance what is meant by series resonance the circuit will be in series resonance if the current is in phase with the applied voltage that means the voltage and current will be in the same direction angle will be zero so the power factor is unity power factor then impedance is it will be equal to r plus j xl minus xc xl is inductive reactance xc is capacitive reactance the formula for xl is omega into l and formula for xc is 1 by omega c omega is nothing but angular frequency and l is inductance c is capacitance and r is resistance this is the circuit for a series resonance circuit and resistance inductance and capacitance capacitors are all connected in series and it is connected to the voltage source. At resonance, the impedance is purely resistive. How it is purely resistive? Because XL minus XC is 0, XL is omega L and XC is 1 by omega C which will be equal to 0. Therefore, omega L will be equal to 1 by omega C, omega square equal to 1 by LC. From that, omega will be equal to 1 by root of LC. At resonance, replace omega equal to omega R which will be nothing but 2 pi FR. FR is nothing but resonance frequency. From this, we have to calculate what is FR. FR will be equal to 1 by 2 pi root of L into C. At resonance, the current I will be equal to V by R. That is, the current is maximum at resonance and the impedance is minimum. So, next at resonance frequency FR, XC is equal to XL and we conclude that impedance is purely resistive. At frequency above the resonance frequency, XL will be larger than XC causing Z to increase. This is the cutoff frequencies, F1 is lower cutoff frequency and F4 is the resonance frequency and F2 is the higher cutoff frequency and 1 by root 2 is the 3 dB frequency and this is the current I and this is F frequency f f versus i So the bandwidth next parameter we are going to see about bandwidth bandwidth is nothing but the difference between higher cutoff frequency to the lower cutoff frequency f2 minus f1 is nothing but bandwidth but we have to calculate the bandwidth when the current is equal to 70.7 percent of the value that means this 1 by root 2 should be taken as 70.7 percent from this value we have to calculate f1 and f2 and one more formula for bandwidth will be equal to R by 2 pi L. And then quality factor. Quality factor formula is 2 pi into maximum energy stored by energy dissipated per cycle. So these formulas we can use to find out the quality factor. We can use XL by R or XC by R or 1 by R root of L by C. We can use these three formulas to find out the quality factor. Next, these are the conditions. When omega is less than omega naught, the series resonance circuit begins like RC circuit. That is purely capacitive circuit. Purely capacitive circuit means we know that power factor is leading power factor. So, the voltage across a capacitor can be calculated by the formula QV angle minus 90 degree because current leads the voltage by 90 degree. So, Q is the quality factor, V is the voltage and VC is the capacitor voltage. And when omega is equal to omega naught, it is a resistive circuit and power factor is equal to 1. These are the three conditions. When omega is less than omega naught, it acts as a capacitive circuit. When omega equal to omega naught, it acts as a resistive circuit. And when omega is greater than omega naught, it acts as an inductive circuit. For inductive circuit, the power factor is lagging. 
and voltage across the inductor can be calculated by the formula QV angle 90 degree. Why I am using plus here? Because for a lagging power factor, voltage leads the current. For capacitive circuit, current leads the voltage. At resonance, VL equal to VC and these are 180 degree out of phase. So first I am going to solve the problems in series resonance circuit. First problem, I am take this problem from the gate uh, question paper. For the circuit shown in this figure, we have to determine the resonance frequency and the options are given as f equal to 0 x, 1 by 2 pi x, 1 by pi x and none of the above. The circuit is given this and then it consists of two series parameters and one it parallel with the four entry. So, I am changing the circuit with respect to J that is uh, inductive reactance, capacitive reactance and this will be an inductive reactance. So, I modify the circuit like this. So, this is 20 ohms, J2 ohms minus J2 by omega, J4 omega and 10 ohms. First, we have to reduce this block into a single impedance Z1. So, this two will be in series that is parallel with this J4 omega. So, first we have to calculate Z1. Before going to Z1, what is the formula to find out total equivalent impedance? Equivalent impedance will be 20 plus Z1 plus 10. How it is coming is, this is 20 and this is 10 ohms. First we have to simplify this, simplify this block thing that Z1. So, first I am going to calculate Z1. Z1 will be J4 omega which is parallel to the J2 omega minus 2 by omega. First we have to take the parallel combination of this. So, when we take parallel combination, we will get J4 omega into this value and divided by add all the parameter. So, when we simplify this and multiply with J into J, we know that J square is nothing but minus 1. So, J into J will be minus 1. So, I am getting minus minus 4 omega into 2 omega minus 2 by omega and we add this 2 j we will get the common term j and you will get the 6 omega minus 2 by omega in the bracket and then which will be equal to j4 omega 2 omega minus 2 by omega 6 omega minus 2 by omega how i am getting again j in the numerator because we know that 1 by j is nothing but minus j by j is minus j so 1 by j is so j4 omega and the remaining terms as it is so from the continuation of the previous slide, we will get the equation as J4 omega 2 omega square minus 2 by 6 omega square minus 2. And then what I am going to do is, I am throwing dividing by 2. So I am getting this uh, J4 omega omega square minus 1 by 3 omega square minus 1. Throughout I am dividing the numerator and denominator by 2. Then uh, we know that at resonance, imaginary part is 0 because the impedance is purely resistive. So we have to equate the imaginary part to be 0 and substitute omega equal to omega r. So, I am replacing omega equal to omega r and I am equating the imaginary part to 0. This is the imaginary part, so I am equating to 0. When I am equating to the 0, this denominator will come to that side. So, totally it will be 0 and omega r square minus 1 will be 0. From this I am find out omega r. Omega r is nothing but 1. Replace omega r is 2 pi fr. So, fr equal to 1 by 2 by x. So, option B is correct. So, B is 1 by 2 pi. So, this is the answer for the first problem. Next to second problem, in a series RLC circuit, R value is given, XL is given, XC is given, voltage is also given. Now we have to calculate the voltage across the capacitor and the options are given as A, B, C, D, B, C equal to 160 angle 90, 40 angle 90, 160 minus 90 and 80 minus 90. So how to find out the solution for this problem? Already in the previous slide, I told that when omega is less than omega naught, the series resonance circuit acts as a purely capacitive circuit. So, the voltage across a capacitor formula is Vc is equal to Qv angle minus 90 degree. This minus sign represents that it is having a leading power factor. So, 
Q B angle minus 90 degree. First we have to find out Q. Q equal to XL by R. So XL value is given 16 and R is given as 8. 16 by 8 will be 2 and input voltage should be taken as the voltage V. So substitute 80 here and 2 here and angle is minus 90 degree. So we will get 160 minus 90. So option C is correct. So third problem is the network is given like this R, L and C and it has a resonant frequency of 150 kilohertz. For this network they given the resonant frequency value and bandwidth but we have to calculate the quality factor. We have to round off to the nearest integer. It is given like this. So first given data resonant frequency F0 is 150 kilohertz and bandwidth bandwidth del F equal to 600 hertz. We can represent bandwidth as BW or del F. Then we have to calculate the quality factor, quality factor Q equal to resonant frequency divided by bandwidth. So Q will be equal to resonant frequency is F0 and bandwidth is del F. So substitute the values 150 into 10 power 3 that is kilohertz, convert the kilohertz into hertz so 10 power 3 divided by 600. When you divide this you will get the 250 as an answer. So it is a whole number. So hence the quality factor of the circuit is 250. So this is the fourth problem. A series RLC circuit resonates at 1.5 kilohertz and consumes 50 watts from a 50 volts AC source and operating at resonant frequency. And bandwidth is given. Then what are the values of circuit elements R and L? They given the options like this: 25 ohms and 5.31 milliampere, 50 ohms, 10.6, 50 and 66.6 milliampere, 2.5 ohms and 1.06 milliampere. We have to calculate the values for resistance and inductance, the resonant frequency is given and power is given, voltage is given and bandwidth is also given. So first write the given data, resonant frequency F0 equal to 1.5 kilohertz, bandwidth, voltage, power, everything is mentioned and then substitute the formula for resistance R equal to V square by P. So P can be calculated by the formula voltage into current and R is nothing but V, v by I. By using this formula I am writing R will be equal to V square by P. So substitute V, v is nothing but 50, P divided by 50, so the resistance value is 50 ohms. Now bandwidth, bandwidth we have to calculate in hertz means we can use this formula R by 2 pi L. Already in the previous slide I told the bandwidth formula is R by 2 pi L. From this we can calculate L because already we found, find it out R. So now we can calculate L. L equal to R by bandwidth into 2 pi. So substitute the value of R and bandwidth into 10 power 3 because bandwidth is given as kilohertz so convert into hertz into 2 pi. So we will get L equal to 10.6 milliampere. Hence the option is B 50 ohms and 10.6 milliampere. The next is fifth sum. The circuit shown in figure is in series resonance. This is how to given. It is in series resonance Fc hertz. The magnitude of Vc in volts we have to calculate. So it should be calculated from the given circuit and the voltage is given as 1 volt and resistance is 10 ohms. Inductance is 0.1 and the capacitor value is also given. We have to calculate the voltage of this capacitor voltage and first uh, first we have to find out omega c omega c equal to 1 by root of lc substitute the value of inductor and capacitor from the circuit given and convert the capacitor microfarad into farad so multiply with 10 power minus 6 so i get the answer that 10000 radians per second and then we know that at resonance xl equal to xc so that is the formula is j 0.1 into 10,000. So 0.1 into 10,000 is nothing but j 1000 ohms. The current through the circuit I can be calculated by the formula V by R. So the voltage is given as 1 and R is given as 10 because in the circuit R value is given as 10. So substitute the value of 10. So I will be equal to 1 by 10. Therefore I will be equal to 0.1 amps. So from this we have to calculate the capacitor voltage. Capacitor 
voltage can be calculated by the formula Xc into I. So just now we find out what is the value of Xc. Xc is nothing but J1000 ohms. Because at resonance both are equal. So J1000 ohms. Substitute the Xc value as J1000 into current is 0.1. So we get the answer as 100 volts. So we have to calculate the magnitude of Vc. Because it is given that uh, magnitude of Vc should be calculated. So I am neglecting J value and I am taking only the magnitude value. Hence the magnitude of Vc is 100 volts. So the parallel resonance circuits and self-inductance problems can be solved in the next class. Thank you.